and I need some time to get this food delivered to customer. You can't say that you have to queue up or you have to line up before you get your food. What is going on guys? This is Arger Bautista and welcome to Fit Hustler TV. Today I'm going to talk about the pro and the cons driving for Uber Eats. If you're planning to drive for Uber Eats, make sure you watch this video first if this is for you or if it is not worth of your time doing it, you know, like a side hustle. So before I start this video, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. My channel is all about hustling, like some business, some fitness, and some real estate strategies, which I love doing. If this is the content for you or if you found this helpful, please subscribe. I will appreciate that one. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Hold on before I forget, make sure to smash that like button if you found this helpful and useful. So let's go back to it. So first thing I want to talk about is the pro. The pro for driving Uber is number one is your time, right? Let's say you have to clock in, clock out most of the time for your full-time job. You have to clock in what time you need to go, go in work and what time you have to out for work. But in Uber Eats, you don't have to do that. You have your time. You have your time whenever you want to deliver some food. Let's say you want to deliver at 10 o'clock in the morning until 2 o'clock or until 12 o'clock for two hours. That's pretty good. You don't have to worry about clocking in and clocking out and do it again as well in the afternoon which I did which is really good because you know you have your freedom I wouldn't say freedom but you have your time to choose whenever you want to work right makes sense so let's go to number two or it's the second pro right the second pro is hold on I just save up all the stuff that I just think here in my phone so I was gonna read it for you so I won't forget and make sure it's right as well number two is there's no limit to hours you drive all right I would say there's no limit but there is limit for 12 hours so it means like you know you can drive for as long as from 0 to 12 hours straight you can do that uber allow you to do that but after 12 hours you need to rest for 12 hours obviously for health and safety reason so you can drive it for 12 hours straight or you can chop that for five hours or six and six you know it's up to you or you can do like the whole 12 you can do that all right that's a number two pro that I think which is benefit for driving for Uber Eats. So number three or my third pro driving for Uber Eats is I will just watch I mean read this again. Three is this is a good one. You don't have a boss. You don't have a supervisor. You don't have a manager. Sometimes you will probably complaining about your manager, your boss or your supervisor that you don't get on right. Some people that you know they hate their managers. They hate their boss. At here in Uber Eats you don't have that one you are independent contractor it means like you don't work for uber you are self-employed basically right so you you don't have to report to your manager what you have to do you don't have to report to your supervisor that you know you did something wrong and then you will have a bad feeling if your supervisor or your manager tell you like why did you do that what what happened that was your fault you know you don't have to deal with that one so i would say that's pro right so if you agree with that make sure you smash that like button for me and i will give you the next one which is the number four is when you get paid you get like instant payment like that if you want you have to pay 50 cents like for any transaction if you need some money let's say after you did some delivery and you earn like 100 bucks or 100 dollars after your delivery you can get that as quick as you want right but you have to pay for 50 cents or otherwise you will get paid every tuesday you will get paid like once a week i believe tuesday i'm not sure if it's tuesday or monday they might change the payment so basically that's a good thing rather than if you work for a company you will pay like every 15 days when i used to work for a company i get paid every four weeks right every four weeks i have to wait for four weeks before i get paid or let's say every the end of the month your money just gets stuck up there and you have to wait for your payday right so i would say that's a pro for driving for uber eats agree smash that like button all right let's go for number five so number five is this is, i like it you know you will find a good spot 
restaurant or a good spot that you don't know like they exist but they do and then they serve different kind of food which is your favorite like I experienced delivering in this restaurant is a Latin restaurant and I didn't know that restaurant exists until someone ordered something in that restaurant and then I found out like the food that they serve which is I love eating you know one of my favorite food that they are serving I said I'm definitely gonna go back to that restaurant because I found that like the food that they serving is really nice which is one of my favorite right like Latin food I love Latin food I want to try them all so if you haven't tried the Latin food make sure you try it because that's not good <laughs> they are good right they are good lastly I would say this for driving for uber eats when you are new to the city let's say you just move into this town obviously the uber eats once you start driving for them you will get like navigation so they will tell you where to go you know where the restaurant is so obviously if you're new to the city you don't know any idea around in your city you don't know the places you don't know the streets so once you start driving for uber you will find out this is a shortcut place if you want to go to point a to point b you know you will see around the places and you know you will drive around the good places like I did last time as well you know when I was driving in the North Florida like let's say in Claremont this is where I'm located at I was driving on the hill and I could see the view the view was stunning the view was amazing that stuff that you can see was unbelievable so that's basically the pro and now we will talk about the cons now the cons is here this is only my idea right if you agree with this as you know just smash that like button for me just for the youtube algorithm so let's go for the cons the cons for driving for uber eats is your car maintenance your car maintenance is gonna be your enemy because let's say the more you drive your car obviously the more you get wear and tear let's say for example your tire your brake pads your brake disc obviously the more that you use that one you need to change that one is it due or is it safe to drive this tread of the, my tire you have to think that one so car maintenance is number one cons driving for uber eats not for just uber eats for uber if you're driving for just uber right second thing is your gas or your your fuel as you know these days inflation going up so fuel go up obviously you have to think about the fuel the fuel cost today here in Florida is about like three dollars and fifty cents which is ridiculous it used to be like just two dollars and eighty and now it's just three dollars and fifty so it's go up the more you drive miles obviously the more you use your fuel or the more you use your gas and then the more you need some gas if it's you're driving from point a which is like let's say 10 miles to point b you know that's a lot of fuel that you're going to consume so take note on that one that's my number two cons number three cons is traffic right if you like me hates traffic well think about if you're going to do this one because you know if you're going to drive for uber you can't say like there's no traffic at all all right especially if you're driving for let's say for dinner time let's say five o'clock from five o'clock to eight o'clock that time is like the busiest time of the day because people's going off from work going back home so you know expect the traffic could be heavy could be light could be moderate but you know expect the traffic if you hate the traffic think about it all right that's a number three cons so let's go for number four cons number four cons is parking i experienced this before if you are picking up in like in a busy road let's say there's no parking allowed and there are parking there but they are occupied you know you won't find any spot you have to go somewhere where you can park your car safely and securely and you have to walk to the restaurant or to the place that where you have to deliver your food right because i experienced before when i was driving for uber to i have to park somewhere like at least a mile not even a mile that's dramatic probably like half a mile where I have to park my car and have to walk because you know the parking was full other than that you know I could just park there right to the net restaurant and get the food out think about that parking could be a cons for you last one but not the least is the waiting time for your food when they are prepping it like for example if someone order in a fast food restaurant and the fast food restaurant they close due to COVID because 
because you're not allowed to go in so you have to queue up or to line up your car in the drive-thru which is I did and I have to wait for at least 20 to 25 minutes just to pick up the ready order because you know that's the rule you can't just go in front and then say I need this pickup order and just go grab it there's a cart in front of me that they are you know getting some food as well so you can't just hey get out of the way I need my food and I need some time to get this food delivered to customer you can't say that you have to queue up or you have to line up before you get your food all right so that's the pro and the cons for driving for uber if you think like this is a good side hustle for you go for it for my next video what i will do is i will make a video what exactly what i did from the uber you know basically i just tried this uber eats and i got approved and i've been driving like for a few days now and you know i will give you my exact experience what i did from start until the end of my driving shift or driving record i would say all right so if you want to watch that one make sure that you stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't subscribed i would appreciate that if you click that subscribe and smash that like button this is the last one i would say that i promise if you haven't done so make sure you click that one and also if you find this helpful and useful share this video to your friends or family who wants to do or are planning to do drive for uber so this is the video for today thank you so much for staying tuned from start until the end you know watching this video watching with me talking too much i appreciate that one i'll see you on the other side and always remember stay hungry peace so driving for uber this is what you need to do what the i forgot driving for uber the pro and this is the cons do it again